Suppose matrix A has the following eigenvectors. The eigenvector four, negative one, negative three, the eigenvector negative three, one, three, and the eigenvector six, negative two, negative five. And the corresponding eigenvalues are seven, negative five, and positive one. Using the same order, find P, D, and P inverse, such that matrix A is equal to P times D times P inverse, which is the diagonalization of matrix A. Most of the work has already been done for us. If we take a look at the steps to diagonalize an n by n square matrix, number one, we determine the eigenvalues of the matrix, which are lambda sub one through lambda sub three in our case. And then we determine n linearly independent eigenvectors, which again has already been done for us. Those are the three given eigenvectors. And then we construct matrix P using the eigenvectors and then construct the diagonal matrix D using the eigenvalues along the main diagonal. And then the final step, which we still have to do, is to determine P inverse. So again, from the given information, we know that matrix P is formed using the given eigenvectors, where the first column is four, negative one, negative three, the second column is negative three, one, three, and the third column is six, negative two, negative five. We also know the diagonal matrix D has the entries of seven, negative five, one, along the main diagonal. It is important to make sure that the corresponding columns do contain the eigenvector and the corresponding eigenvalue. For example, the eigenvector of four, negative one, negative three corresponds to the eigenvalue of seven. The eigenvector of negative one, one, three corresponds to the eigenvalue of negative five. And the eigenvector six, negative two, negative five corresponds to the eigenvalue of positive one. To complete the diagonalization of matrix A, we need to find the inverse of matrix P. There's a couple ways we can do this. I'm gonna go ahead and use an augmented matrix, where if we set this up so that the first three columns are matrix P, and then columns four, five, and six are the identity matrix, we can then perform row operations so that we have the identity matrix on the left and the entries on the right will be P inverse. So I've already done all the row operations, and this is the result. Notice how we have the three by three identity matrix on the left. The inverse of matrix P is on the right. The inverse of matrix P is the three by three matrix where the entries are one, three, zero, one, negative two, two, and zero, negative three, one, which is listed here at the bottom. So now we know the diagonalization of matrix A is equal to, again, P times D times P inverse, where again, matrix P is formed using the eigenvectors Matrix D is formed using the eigenvalues, and the third matrix is the inverse of matrix P. So this is what the question is asking us to find. If we did want to find matrix A, we would have to determine the product of these three matrices, which I thought would be worth showing. If you pause the video and multiply these matrices out from left to right, matrix A is the matrix with entries 43, 36, 36, negative 12, negative five, negative 12, negative 36, negative 18, negative 35. I hope you found this helpful.